Hi, this is a 5 FP7 radar CRT. It's a magnetic focus, magnetic deflection uh, CRT. And the end game is to try and use this instead of the 5 CP1, either in the TV, or to possibly build a slow scan TV monitor, the old fashioned style, without a, a computer. I'm using the TV as it stands to provide the EHT which can range from 2 to 3.5k. That's monitored on this one by a resistive ladder. I use this meter to measure the current in the focusing coil that I've made. That's a plastic bobbin I've turned. It's 52mm on the inside length and 42.3mm diameter to wind on. That's got 7,000 turns at the present time of two layered, two lots of 0.16mm diameter cable. It gives me about uh, a range of 100mm if I need it. That's all powered from my homemade valve tester and the DC box on this side provided 250 volts for G2 minus 31 volts which is measured on this meter for the grid so I'm not pushing the tube too high and this final book which would normally do the screen on the grid on the valve tester is actually providing the current for the focusing coil via a 470 ohm resistor it gives me a little bit of um, adjustment range so if I power things up we'll see what happens and we'll see I'll move the camera towards the front of the tube. Okay, this is the unfocused spot. So EHT is 2000 volts. I'm now going to switch in the focusing current through the coil. Oof. And there we go. Give it a chance for the resistance to die away so the camera can see it. The smallest spot I can see. I can move the Thing, the uh, coil around and back to the main point which is there. So at least I'm getting somewhere. At 2000 volts I need 462 ampere turns and at 3500 volts I need 574 ampere turns through the coil. 